Hello and welcome back to Let's Play WCW slash NWO Revenge Part 10 with your host, as always, Madurai Brett, and returning special guest co-host, Shally. Hello, everyone. It has just dawned upon me that I have said that intro so many times that how quickly do I say it now? I've never timed it. And I'm wondering if new viewers who have just started watching one of my Let's Plays and they were to come in and say this Let's Play, would that be hard to understand the first time you hear it? Because I'm just used to it. I don't you... necessarily think it's hard to understand, but then again, I, I might I be used not. to it at this point. I hope it's not. That's not my intention at all. <laughs> it's just kind of, I say it yeah, quickly because exactly. I'm used to it, so I don't think about it. Uh, so we're getting Spider-Man Jr. Course. Was his father even... Did his father even wrestle as Rey Mysterio? I kind of feel like he was just Rey Mysterio Jr. in WCW because that was the thing. Yeah. I don't remember. I think I would have heard. Maybe I'm just completely wrong. I don't know. Personally, when it comes to uh, luchador families, I'm a lot more up to date on uh, the Guerreros. Yeah. Because they're awesome. Not to say that Rey Mysterio isn't awesome. He was awesome. But the Guerreros are still awesome. That's the thing. I Except think, for Vicky. I think if I remember correctly, he was actually trained by his father. Really? Well, yeah. I know he. I know he trained. Was with either his the father Guerreros, or his uncle? I can't remember. I know he trained with the Guerreros for a time. Uh, I I really don't like that uh, that little like rib kick thing I do because it never like touches their model. It'd be good if it if I just flat out punted them in the ribs. That'd be very Chris Jericho. Okay, so. Unlike the last match, now I'm actually, uh, I've got the speed disadvantage and strength advantage. I like how I can hit the Lion's Salt just out of nowhere, zero momentum attack. Yeah. Now, I think I can actually do Lion's Salt as a rebounding strike, kind of like the, uh, rebounding back elbow, which I used, like, once. Can I? No, I guess I can't. Should have activated that. Oh, that's a really nice looking Lucha Arm Drag that's only mm -hmm. in, uh, only in this game. Which sucks, because I think it's a really good animation. Gotta do the Lion Salt more, it's a cool move. Nope, fucking... Eh. Uh. <laughs> like, they just lay down for it. I don't think it's pretty... Wow. I was about to say, I don't think it's particularly strong. He's already clutching at his ribs. Maybe I should use that move more. Yeah, it's quickly executed and... Seems yeah. to do significant damage. Holy wow. shit! We've only been... Minutes. It's, we're three minutes into the episode. Uh, sorry, was, what was, was like the timer on the match? 40-something? Wow! Yeah. No. <laughs> Lion Salt everything. I, I guess I did do some pretty big moves. I mean, I finished him with a, with a double underhook suplex from the middle rope. So mm. I can see it being like a finishing move. Oh, it's Ming. Okay, so this is going to be a submission battle, then. Uh, he's no. strike-heavy, and he's got the death grip for a finisher. And I've got the, uh... I don't know, I think I can win this just because with the grapples, I can probably pretty easily keep him grounded and go for the lion salt. Or the, uh, the lion tamer. Hit everything and, with lion in the name. Yeah, they're the best moves. Well, I actually timed it right. Nice. You know... I feel like that's kind of a powerhouse move, you know, when they, like, throw him up in the air and they just fall yeah. back straight back down? I don't know if you could do that to, uh, Mang. He's a big guy. Well, you are Chris Jericho. I am Chris Jericho. You can't underestimate Chris Jericho's strength. He is he's deceptively strong. Although, I would still say that what he does best are, uh, submissions and reversals. Yeah. And I just got completely clobbered there. I like the generic uh, Jolly Roger on the tights of <laughs> Meng. Yep. Shit. Ooh, big boot. And he, he did the uh, shoulder strike a little early there. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, that backfired. I thought it might be too early for a missile drop kick. Ooh, you walked right into that. I'm actually doing decent with the strikes this match, but I'd still prefer to go for a Lion Soul. Get over here. 
Now I believe it's any move with a C rank damage or higher gets the replay. So that's kind of an easy way of telling uh, how strong a move is. Ooh, oh. throw thrust. So th apparently that backdrop is stronger than the Lion Salt, but I don't know how much I believe that. Considering how fast Rey Mysterio went down, then again, he might just have really low stats. Whereas Meng presumably has very high stats considering he was a champion. Oh! Ooh! Double axe handle to the lower back, that's gotta kill. Wow, he does not stay down. Oh, come on, stop no selling it. Yeah, Jesus! Oh, I forgot I had that pile driver as a weak grapple. I should use that more. It's kind of OP. Pile driver, weak grapple, yeah. Yeah. A scoop into like a reverse kneeling pile driver. It's only like the Undertaker's finisher. Weaken the leg a little bit, stomp out the knee. God, that actually looks and sounds really good. I like it when the closest rope to them is the one that my back is facing, because it's a lot harder for them to get a rope break yeah. that way. I feel like I'm abusing this move. <laughs> I should probably stop using it. If you find something that works. I guess. I mean, that's how we went with the Lion Salt, wasn't it? Yep. Already this match is about to go on longer than the last one. Then again, the last one was pretty short. Last one was under two minutes, so... Actually, this might be the pin right here. Frankensteiner. And I'm gonna get it with a body splash for good measure. Oh, oh no, I no hate that. It. We've seen that way too many times where you do one move and they're on the ground. And you're like, okay, I'll go do a high-flying move, and then all of yeah. a sudden they just no-sell it and get right back up. Very mysterious coming in. I guess he wants to revenge for his humiliating defeat. Clearly. Okay, Mysterio, bring it. Bring it, Mysterio. Back finisher. What's my back finisher? What the fuck? Okay, reverse suplex. I'm pretty sure he didn't do that. That Okay, in both this and No Mercy, that tends to be the back finisher of people who they had no idea what to give them. Either that <laughs> or an, an inverted DDT. What do you think my turnbuckle finisher is? I'm sure I've got one. I'm thinking some kind of her Corona. Get over here. Oh, he walked right into it. Probably should have done a bridging one. Well, let's correct that mistake. One, two. Only a two oh. count. He's gonna be. This is gonna be one of those matches, eh? All right. I'll just keep getting him with strong grapples. I'm not going to uh, waste this advantage. Oh god. Okay, maybe submissions are the way to go here. Throw him up in the air. I believe that does body damage. Flip him over. Oh, apparently all I needed was the leg hook. Okay. <laughs> I I wasn't aware that that move was so powerful that it would be the difference between two and three, but okay. Good leg score. Leg hook is his downfall. Apparently. One true weakness. It's the guy I hardly remember <laughs> It's again. the guy we barely remember. Scott Norton. Scott Norton. Don't you remember his famous feud with, um... <laughs> Hogan? <laughs> Everybody had a feud with Hogan, so it's safe to say that. Don't you remember his feud with the Hummer? Yeah. Man, don't you remember when the Hummer was World Heavyweight Champion? Really? It's, it's playing the awesome music for this guy? Okay. I don't know who this guy is. I mean, he yeah. might be the best wrestler in the world. I've got no clue. I don't know. Like, I have to question it because, like, I'm looking in this shit. <laughs> you know, professional right here. You know what? And Can you Google this guy for <laughs> me? <laughs> apparently, get this, apparently he started out as a professional arm wrestler. That's a profession? Apparently. You know what? A uh, professional Counter-Strike player or StarCraft player 
I count that as a completely legitimate profession mm. because it is an incredibly it's a, it's a sport of not only great intellect but reflex. It is truly a mental sport. Arm wrestling? I'm not sure. <laughs> What Maybe if it was like extreme arm wrestling where you had to, you know, get the arm wrestling pin, but at the same time you could use your other arm to like punch people. I don't know, because there's what technique is there behind arm wrestling? Maybe I'm just ignorant to it. Like, I know that there's some technique to it, like there's certain maneuvers and positioning and leverage that you can get that you wouldn't normally be able to. Like I know there's okay. different like everybody has different techniques. Yeah. Okay, so but, there is something behind it. Yeah, there is there is something behind it, but I don't know if it's a enough to warrant I don't know if it's enough to warrant it being a sport but possibly I'm just completely ignorant to it I have no idea so I'm not gonna throw it in the trash yet (laughs) all I'm gonna say is um over the top you know that uh the movie with uh, Sylvester Stallone uh, the arm wrestling movie that movie was awesome in how (laughs) bad it was but it was awesome (laughs) apparently this guy teamed up with Buff Bagwell I can see that. Bigwell uh, did a lot of tag teams. And uh, Bigwell was awesome. And Buff. Yeah, uh, Buff Bagwell had a great theme. Holy he shit. did. I loved his theme. And a gim- great gimmick. And he was scary to look at. He had the same problem as, um, as Scott Steiner in that he looked like his muscles were going to explode. He was such a freak of nature. And by that I mean he was on so many roids. So, uh, what was this guy's finisher? Oh, gosh. I really know nothing about him. Like, what's what does his Wikipedia say? His, his Wikipedia mentions a couple uh, finishing moves in 97. Whoa, hold on, hold on. I'm going to guess choke slam. None of them are a choke slam. Oh, well, I beat him. In 97, he used a brain buster. Um, really? At one point, he used a release power bomb. Okay, and like he had move. a finishing move called the Flash Breaker, which was an overhead gut wrench dropped into an inverted shoulder breaker. You know what? Those all sound really good. They do all sound really good. Uh, I instantly have a good feeling about him when you said he uses Brain Buster at one point, mm-hmm. because uh, you got to be a ta- pretty talented guy to pull off the Brain Buster. Yeah. Uh, I think... Was that the third match already? Yeah, that was the third match already. Let's just... Well, wow. Let's do another one. Yes. <laughs> It's only been 12 minutes. The last one went on like 18 minutes. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, welcome to the uh, the third uh, episode that goes for over 30 minutes. Exactly. Rick Steiner, everybody. I was about to say, this match is going to take as long as the other matches combined. This is going to take as long as like tag team matches. Spam the lion salt. Oh, yeah. I forgot I have lion salt. So you guys might remember the Rick Steiner match. It was the very first match in the first episode, and I fairly solidly had my ass handed to me. Oh yeah. There, I, I think I won with like a roll-up pin by pure luck or something. Like, I didn't get a DDT off until Lex Luger, and it was no sold. Two yeah. consecutive DDTs. Okay. I have to play to my strengths, use a lot of speed, use a lot of strikes, get submissions when I can, although I don't think he's particularly weak against submissions, and um, I'm not going to go for many high-flying moves. I have a feeling that might backfire. The Lion Salt, though, is a pretty uh, pretty low-risk move yeah. for the damage it does, so I will still do that. Maybe a Palancha, which is a really high-risk move, but only if I feel really safe in doing it. Like, if he starts to get up slowly... Yeah, I think I can time this. Fuck. Oh. That's right. Submission right on the pavement. That's gotta hurt. Nice. That's right. Stay still. No. Oh, I think we bumped heads. Come on. Bring it. Oh god! Uh, did, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Get out of my ring. Ah! <laughs> yes! 
Okay, I'm gonna jump on him. Ooh, got him there with crossbody. Go. I'm gonna steal a finisher. Fuck him. What's his friend finisher? Canadian backbreaker, really? Okay. I'm not complaining, it weakens his back for me. Yeah. I <laughs> throw him down on his knees. That's gotta hurt. Let's do it again. I really like the Canadian backbreaker. I wish that would come back as a finisher. You know who did that move really well? Uh, Lord Tensai slash Albert slash Prince Albert slash <laughs> Slash Tensai, -train. who's not a lord anymore. Slash. Sla yes! <laughs> uh, slash uh, A-Train. Uh, he used to do a kneeling Canadian uh, backbreaker. What did he used to call that one? Uh, train wreck. That was a good yeah. move. Two... Oh, come on, after all the damage I've done to his body? Uh, by the way, uh, there is no difference between back damage and chest damage. Uh, so that backbreaker will help with any chest move. Nice. Okay, oh, I should've gone for the Lion Salt here. But whatever, body splash is still good. Nope. No. Oh, god. Oh. Off the ground. I think that was a weak grapple, too. Just floor him. There we go. Really wish the animation for that was a little bit better. Where it looks kind of like I don't really land on them. Yeah. That's one thing I don't like about it. Ooh, can I win with that? Let my haste roll cradle. Two. Three. Yes. Nice. Well, that was still slightly less time than the last episode. Okay. I don't think we need to replay on the cradle. No. All right, that felt like that felt a lot quicker than the last episode, even though it's only about a minute or two shorter. Yeah. All right. On the next episode, we're going to be doing probably the end of the TV title run already. So until next time, this has been Madrybread Sh and Shally. Have a nice day. See ya. I almost listed you as two people. <laughs> That's right. I'm calling you fat. Oh no.